Hi everybody, it is April and I am here in my craft room. I took a day off from work on the weekday thinking that I was going to be by myself and I could get things done. And my husband also is off that day. So, I need to get in the right frame of mind, get a little frustrated when I don't get to do exactly what I want to do on my day off. That's okay. I don't want to be too selfish. So, all right, new attitude. So, I am here to do row three of Let's Make a Quilt with our Cricut Maker. And let's just get going. Move all this stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm using a different machine today. Um, I got a really cool gift for Christmas. And then I'm saying I don't want to be bothered with, you know, having to deal with my sweet husband on my day off. So I should feel really guilty because he really got me a great gift. And I will show you that later. But my regular machine is being used for another purpose. So, and you're seeing my shirt only, head's cut off, that's okay. Block three, no, row three, block 13. Let's get this party started. Four, five half square triangles of fabric, five. One, two, three, Four. Two, let's see, two of fabric two. I'm not sure I cut two right. We'll find out when I run out of two. And two of fabric four. Okay. And if you are just joining us, I'll link back to the beginning at some point in this video and you can go back and catch up. It shouldn't be hard. All right, so I've got five, four, five, four, two, Five and two and five. Okay, and I haven't sewn on the mach on this machine for a while, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's good though that I can break it out and use it. You know, poor thing's been sitting on a shelf. It's actually listed to sell, but. I don't really want to sell it. I'm weird. Okay, let's see if I can do this. So I'm gonna do needle down. Ah, doesn't have an automatic foot. I'm gonna have to. Put my own foot down. Ah! And then I put it on fast to wind a bobbin. All right, whoops, that's a little too slow. Here we go. Okay, and I'm going to chain piece, and I'll do the sewing on this first block more slowly, and then I'll fast forward as we get through the other blocks, because these videos are like, you know, a million years long. such a good little machine. I love this machine. I'm not going to be able to sell it. It'd be like selling one of my own kids. I have a problem, people. I have a problem. Okay, this is a little... I'm going to press this real quick. material had been sitting where it has a little fold in it. Okay. And when I start out on the uh, 
on the chain piecing, I start out slowly because otherwise my needle tends to get all lost. And if I'm being honest, I was doing things that I didn't plan on doing. With the Christmas present that I got, I needed to do some rearranging. So I cleaned some stuff out, got rid of some stuff, and I needed, that was in the other room, and I need to do the same thing in this room. So I started that process when I should have been shooting this video. So, you know... It's all me. It's really all me. Okay, quarter inch seam. I didn't mention that. And also, I gotta put the foot on. I shouldn't be using two different machines on the same quilt so don't don't do what I do because a quarter inch on this machine is going to be different than a quarter inch on my other machine all right press seams top row to the right so here's my top row five four this is not my top row this is my top row five four to the right five four to the right okay and five two it's gonna be to the left and two five is going to be to the left all right so to the right and just to show again, so when you press to the right, the bulk of your fabric on the seam is going to go towards your right hand. Bulk of fabric on the seam, I don't think I had that one right, towards your right hand. This one doesn't want to do, that one doesn't want to core weave. Okay, on this one, bulk of your fabric to the left, and the same with this one. Alright, so I'm going to press them, a handy dandy press. Remember, pressing should just be pressing, not actually ironing. And I have so much I need to do. Ugh, just the thought of all the things that I need to do. Ugh. Okay, so five, four, five, four, two, five, five, two. All right, sew these puppies together. Nothing really to line up other than the material on this one. I gotta put my foot down. It's gonna take me a while to remember that. done with this block okay so five four five four and I would say we're gonna go to the right on this one 
There's some extra string in there. Okay, to the right on the top. Sew the top squares together, press the seams towards the right, bottom, left. Okay, so I got that right. To the right, this is two, five, and then this is going to go to the left. Okay, to the right. Now we're going to put our blocks together and because one is going to the right and one is going to the left, our seams are just going to nest up against one another. Okay, so that's where I start is in the middle to make sure that my seams line up and then I sew the rest of it. My foot do it on my foot. That's the only thing about this machine that I don't particularly care for is that I have to put my own foot down. How lazy is that? Alright. Sure, my seams are all nested together. I'm going to slow down a little bit as I go over the bunch of material. Okay. going to stand there and wait for it to... Okay. I'm lined up my seams here, but this one's a little off. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Then so to press... Okay, so this gets pressed towards the bottom. So I'm going to fold it over and the bulk of the material is going to go towards the bottom. Alright. Sometimes perfection is overrated. Okay, here we go. Block 13. Done. Okay, 14. One five half square triangle of fabric one. Just gonna be my white. I need three sevens. Two, three sevens. And three threes and a two. Wow. Okay, here's a two. I'm gonna press this one real quick. Because it's bent. I think it's where I was cut from the fold. Okay. Three. One, two, here we go. One, two, three. Alright. So I've got a seven. Seven. And a three. Okay, seven and three. Long ways. Got it. Three. Two. This is two. Okay, and then one, seven. Whoops, that's not seven. This is seven. One, seven, and seven, three. All right, so got seven, three, three, two, one, seven, seven, three. All right, chain piecing. triangles top row towards right okay so you know you would think I would still remember that but I don't three seven three two one seven seven three 
three, two, three, two, top towards right, whoops, and one, seven, this is going to go towards the left, to the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left, dating myself, and seven, three, to the left. All right. Pretty darn close. Okay. This is block 14. All right. Block 15. My favorite. Yay. Five, four. Five and four. My stacks get smaller. We still have a ways to go though. All right, you just line these puppies up and throw. Gotta love that. Okay, this is my favorite block so far. Block 15. Okay, 16. One, two, three, four, five fives. One, no, four fives. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four sevens. One, two, three, four sevens. Okay. And need to. Little. Okay. Five. I just figured out what I can get my mother for Christmas. Oh, yay! All right. Five. Oops. Seven. Seven. Five. So I have to look over at my stacks every once in a while and make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, seven. Nope. Seven. Five. Seven. Five. Okay. Chain piece. Another quick tip. When you're chain piecing, make sure that your machine is set so that your needle stops in the down position. You don't want it to stop in the up position. I don't know if I've ever said anything about that before, but it being in the down position makes chain piecing much easier. Three and one. Love it. Love that. There's my three. Alright. Can't get these too far off. Although today, maybe I could. I wouldn't put it past me. And three goes on top, one on the bottom. Block 17. Okay. 18. We are on our last block. Wow. One, two, three, four, number five. One, one, two, three, four of number five. One, two, three of number one. One, two, three. One, two, uh, and a six. Okay, so we have five and one, one and five.
five. So it's got a little crease in it. So press that right out of there. One, five, five, six. Okay. And a little crease in that one too. Definitely easier to sew them when they are flat. Chain piece. joining me today. I very much appreciate you putting up with my cranky mood and hopefully next time I'll be in a little better mood. We have done three out of the seven rows so we have four more to go. I'm going to hold up one block at a time so that you can see each block and mm, let me do that. So here's block 13, and this is block 14, this is block 15, this is block 16, block 17, and block 18. Thank you again for putting up my cranky, cranky mood. And thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Share it with your friends. And click the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. I know you have lots of choices when you watch YouTube. I very much appreciate you watching me. And I will see you next time.